And they asked you to produce, do a reading, or had you prepared a piece? Or they asked you to do a t a two pages, and it, it was the most god awful <laughs> script I'd ever read because I'd already, you know, I, you, you're supposed to read the Lord of the Rings before you go in. But I said, okay, we've got to try to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. So we'll give it conviction, we'll give it belief. It, wherever the flaws are, we'll, we'll make believe again, we'll pretend that it works. And from that, you know, I thought later on there would be rewrites. And uh, there weren't. He asked us eventually, do you have any suggestions? And I said, well, it would be kind of major, I think, as far as the revisions, because the character's written in one way, and for it to go where you want it to go, it, it doesn't have that in the lines. But did they rewrite? They did little things, but not much. No. Not Why? Not make a difference. I, Are I they not in control of the script? Or they were. were. They were in control of the script. But I think... Did they not know what they were doing? Uh, pardon me from being general and stupid, but... And I feel bad saying this because I, I, I got to work on it, but it but was... It failed. Yeah. I mean, you can't yeah. get away from that. Unfortunately, yeah. it failed. Well, I think the, the thing that was missing was a very essential thing. It's when you see the movies, it's a whole glorious panorama vista that you've never seen before, and yet you have it when you read the books. Mm -hmm. They visualized it very well. But what was important is that they, it was the strength of the relationships between the hobbits and between Gandalf, the incredible love they had and the sense of dignity and sense of pride and the sense of code, you know, that they would die for friends. You want to instill whatever tender moments of intimacy exist between two characters, distill it from the grand panorama down to, you know, focus on that. And the couple of moments that did really work in the show were those moments between two characters. Not the stage fights, they were kind of interesting and visual, but once you've seen one stage fight, you've had it, really. But if you can focus on the heart of the piece and concentrate on that throughout, then you have the show. And how do you, because the larger subject is, how do you work within something that's not working? And I presume a lot of the cast, like you oh. felt it was not working. How do you then, as a, as a creator or, or actor, how do you keep going in that situation? It's tough. So how do you keep together emotionally and mentally when the wheels are coming off the you truck and the truck's still going down the highway? How do you? You try to help others. You help others if you can, by helping others, you help yourself. And, and there were a lot of people that really needed to be listened to, cared for, and just... Performers, technical people? Mostly performers. And how big was the cast? Oh, God, I think we were about 34. I think we were between 28 and 34. Right. Yeah. There may have been more. It was it, tough. Right. But the question is, how does a performer, a creator, an actor deal within uh, a ship that's heading for the rocks? How do you, you just keep alive? There's not much you can do except just support each other.